hello and greetings to everybody that's participating in this webinar today. Uh, my name's Kenneth Foster Jr. I was convicted in 1997 as an accomplice to a crime. Uh, I was basically sent to death row for being a getaway driver. Uh, in 2007, my sentence was commuted uh, by Governor Perry, the only in his tenure. And since then, we have been trying to uh, bring attention to the law parties. Um, today, I would like to point out four issues that I feel are very important that I would like for people in this webinar to consider, think about, and work on in your own private time. And hopefully, this information shared can be used to bring the change in sentences that we need. Number one, that's the root of the statute. In 1974, when this statute was created, 7.02b, there was no death penalty. Therefore, we would assume that the individuals that created this never intended for it to be used for a death penalty case because the death penalty did not exist. The death penalty didn't return until 1976. The second issue is the discrepancy of the application. Um, why are individuals that committed an actual murder allowed to plea bargain for a lesser time? And then the individual that did not commit the murder, he can go to trial and be given a death or life sentence. We feel like that is, it's unjust. Um, the third issue is Governor Abbott and the connotation that he extended to Thomas Whitaker earlier this year in 2018. We're very thankful for that connotation. But the question is, what's the difference between Thomas Whitaker and the other individuals that are on death row that never killed anybody? Currently, we have 10 names of 10 individuals that are on death row in Texas that never killed anybody. We would like to ask Governor Abbott to extend his compassion and his commutation to these other 10 individuals. If Thomas Whitaker is worthy of a commutation, then so are these 10 other men that never committed a murder. And then the fourth issue is Texas needs to catch up with California. California has the largest death row and it also has the largest prison population. We're very thankful that California finally passed a bill that will not allow individuals who didn't kill them to be convicted of a felony murder. They will no longer be given a death sentence or a life sentence. They will be sentenced accordingly to their crimes. We would like for the politicians in California to build bridges with the politicians in Texas 